Ellen Neckman of Agora Financial joins us now for the weekly options alert and some trader talk. So what do you think here, Ellen? You're such a bull in this market. No yes, matter we've seen what. this before. A sluggish start to the week is not necessarily det detrimental. If we go back the five days or the four days last week, a uh, big boom to the upside, 3% across the board move. A nice breakout. Let's see if it could follow through. Right. You're just playing the dips here. Let's take a look at your WPI trade tracker. You have a number of trades on here, some expiring right. in September. A lot of positions. So we've kind of loaded up here, a bunch of in the money options, looking for this market to rally. Now we can see good days in a bad market and bad days in a good market. So it's very dependent on the underlying stock, obviously. So if you look at our current trade, we're in a couple of positions here. Twitter is one. Twitter made some new highs yesterday. Got this close, got within a nickel of uh, taking our 50% profit. So even on a big down day, if you've got the smart money on the right side, you can, uh, can profit on the upward moves. JD, also one of your trades. JD.com, hanging around the 30. Uh, the other September option is Oracle. Uh, if you get into October, that has about six weeks of time there. Oh. Then we've got uh, Hewlett Packard and Facebook. And MU that we got in last week. Now, MU, after we got into it, uh, rallied uh, to Friday to its highest level since July. So that's looking good. Okay, now let's move out to a little bit farther out here. We have FireEye, right? You have FireEye. FireEye, still a long-term position, a December option. So. We're going to get a lot of news. I'm going to get a lot of nonsense. I'll tell you that right up front. But we're able to ride through the ups and downs with these with these options. OK, your WPI trade trigger for this week? Coffee, hot coffee. So we're looking at Starbucks. Starbucks has been stuck on a coffee break here between 90 and 100. So that puts the midpoint support at 95. So we've been trading in this range for a number of weeks now. Uh, we're looking for this stock to have a big move. It's doubled already in value from July to July. It went wow. from $50 to $100. So this little bit of a break here, I think is a good opportunity to buy into it. Right, who saw that coming? Yeah, Ooh. the October $90 call. An October $90 call, you've got the strike price below that support level, six weeks of time, and the smart money sees something here. If we get to that 110 target, that option will more than double. Let's get your trading floor takeaways before you take off today. Yeah, number three. Uh, this is brought to you by the number three. The S&P was 3% <laughs> away from the all-time forever tip top ahead of the three-day weekend, and it was up 3% on the week. So and the number is three. The number to watch for is three. Number two. October treat. I know we're not that far away. The earnings season starts again after this month. So that should give the market some fundamental facts to chew on once again. Right. The Halloween stores are opening up already. And number three. Breakout. I'm not going to say it's a fake out, but it was a breakout okay. uh, last Friday. We said the markets break out of that sideways range in the S&P. They traded in that 140 po 150 point range. That targets 3,100, which is 7% up above. Have faith, my friends. I still think we're going to attack those highs one more time. Great trader talk today. Thank you so much. Thank you. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.